In keeping with our recent gaming projects, we made a four across game for this video. This was a really easy project. I designed the game to be on the smaller size, so it could be cut on really any laser. I used 8th inch MDF and 8th inch acrylic, which was nice because this can be made really cheap then. The MDF was masked with application tape to keep everything clean. This wasn't super necessary because I plan on painting everything, but it's still so much nicer to work with clean parts. I cut the game pieces out of some scraps of 8th inch black and white cast acrylic. All the materials used will be listed with links in the description below. After all the lasering was completed, the masking on all the parts were removed. Assembly was pretty straightforward. All the vertical guides for the game pieces were first inserted into the main structures without glue. The vertical side pieces were inserted and then I ran glue along all the connection points. I just used regular wood glue for all of this assembly. I didn't have to be too neat here. I've never been a big fan of seeing the dark edges of the lasered wood contrasting against the natural surfaces, so I cut parts to cover this area and hide all the joins. horizontal pieces for the bottom and then the top were glued into the main assembly. The top piece has openings for the game pieces and just cleans up the look of the top. The two pieces that would act as a base were glued together. You can just see that I had lightly marked the bottom piece with the laser so I knew the exact placement for the top piece. I next glued what I would sort of call cosmetic pieces to the front and back of the main assembly. These were never necessary, but it made the entire thing look cleaner. It was after doing this that it was suggested to me that the holes here could have instead been cut into different silhouette shapes to make this more interesting. Oops, too late. assembly was then glued into the base. And yes, by now you've probably thought to yourself that there was no way to release the game pieces from the bottom like the original Milton Bradley game. And you'd be right. If I was making a much larger version, then maybe I would have included some mechanism. But I didn't see any reason to complicate this design, since you can just easily flip it over to dump out the pieces. And because I seem to like to paint everything, I had to give it a number of coats of a matte blue spray paint. 
And now it's time to test it. The pieces went in nicely and they did make those nice bouncy clicky sounds. Success. Thanks for watching. There's a link in the description for access to all the designs and files shown in our videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more videos coming soon. Stay tuned.